what is green is always more than a yard away. Art is a mean meditation, staring at a blank screen. In between what we mean and the things we say. Create complicated, it's the same damn thing. Once it's made, I'm too good to appreciate. So I try to put a little piece of myself in, keep the pretty people listening. So, we are here in Kuban, finally, after months of waiting, it is here, and my god is this amazing, and look at all that coastline, so this is Black Sea, uh, this is the War Thunder map right about uh, this area, I think. Holy shit, this is big. Uh, okay. So, where should I take? I'll take off from here and I'll fly around there. So, P40 got fixed. Uh, I might take it out, maybe. I'll take a Spitfire. Uh, gonna take a decent amount of fuel because I'm going to be flying a long way. And hold on. Settings. I want a Merlin 45. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what this is like. Come on. Come on, game. Load faster. Load faster. Load faster. Track IR is on. Okay. Alright. This is exciting. Super exciting. Come on. Load. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on. It'd be nice if this loaded. Like, <gasps> okay. So I'll fly, take off, fly out over the uh, War Thunder map, like the bay area. I should have removed all of the enemy stuff, but oh well. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's hills! That is pretty. Holy crap. Wow. That's amazing. 
Whoa. I'm gonna take off to the... Yeah, I'm gonna taxi on, turn right. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure everything is 100%. We're gonna open up radiators. Come on, Spitfire. Let's not... Let's not do this. Whoa! What the heck? Oh, do I might still have a crosswind set. Oh, well. There's a tent in front of me, I know that. So, I'm gonna... Slowly bring up my throttle. And, gun it. Here we go. Whoa! Almost nosed it over because I hit my brake button. And we're up into the air. Gonna drop my RPM. Come back off the boost. Make sure flaps are up. They are. I never dropped them. And wow actual like variation in the terrain that's amazing looking right, I'm gonna bank to the right and go climb up for some altitude so in that direction over that hill a little ways is the or no right there I think actually is the more thunder that's where is it the, uh, I don't remember what map it is. Oh, look at this. Man, I'm going to climb up to about 3,000 feet. To watch myself, because to my right there is probably anti-aircraft artillery that just landed. Maybe it's regular artillery. God, flying an IL-2 over these hills at low altitude is going to be fun. Yeah, this is... however you say that. There's that airfield. That's neat. 
Was this the Krim? Was it Krimsk? Is that what map this was? I don't know. This pretty. Maybe I, my canopy won't open. All right. It's just like the War Thunder map. Except bigger and better in every way. <laughs> Doesn't have those insane little bumps on the ground. Alright, gonna continue flying northwest. Wonder where the highest points are. Is there a topographical map? It's probably in there somewhere. God, I have to go. Alright, I'm gonna go fly along that ridge line. I can't help myself. So, alright. After this, I'm either going to take out the Duck, the HS129, or the P40. I'm not really sure which. Because the map, the P40, and the HS129 are the things I was most excited about in this patch. Approaching the ridge line. Alright, is there a nice little valley to fly down? I can't tell those shadows. Uh, I'm gonna just cut my throttle. Yes, yes, I know. Make sure I don't exceed around 400 miles an hour. Alright. What did I do? What did what just happened? Did I clip something? I don't nothing feels damaged. Wow, the rudders don't have authority at that speed. What the heck is happening? Oh, am I getting buffeted? high speed. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I need to bring my pitch trim back up. line and I'm gonna go fly low altitude over the port. Um... Mm -hmm. 
down. Look at this. There's a building. That's a large building. There should be boats out uh, in the ocean. They're back a ways though. I'll look at those when I grab like the P-40 or the duck. Oh, there's a stunt flying place right there. I'm gonna fly under that maybe. <laughs> All of this into the vertical. Isn't that pretty? I love this map. Can't wait to get my hands on the A20 and the P39, because they'll just be even more fun. There's an airfield over there. Whoa. I think I'm gonna go make a landing there. I'll grab the P40 or the duck. Probably the P40. Probably what I'll take out. Lift up the nose a little bit. Pitch trim. Okay, here we go. Flaps, landing gear, here we go. What is the landing gear speed? 160, 140, alright, yeah, I'm fine. I'm well under that, or I'm well near that. Alright, here I go. Just keep that pitch trim up. Get the landing gear and flaps make it want to drop its nose. Here we go. Oh, I bounced. Oh dear. Just, yep, I'm fine. damage anything? No, I didn't. It just made a really bad noise. Awesome. Alright, let's taxi off and into one of the pens. And then I'll grab a P40. Or into a parking spot. And then I'll grab a P40. Ha ha I did it. God, that's a nice map. Alright. <laughs> I'll take off from there if it's an option. Just so I can continue to where I was. That was a 12 minute flight. So where did I land? I landed there, but it's not an option to take off from there, so. P40. Let's set it up the way I like it. I'll take, I'll take 70%, although it doesn't really need it, and uh, I don't 
really care about the speed loss. I don't have a personal skin for this thing sorted, so I'll just use white 56. Now I'll use gray. So now, P40 shouldn't be slow and awful. shouldn't be slow and all. Well, it'll probably still be slow, but it shouldn't turn god-awfully anymore. It will take a while to start up. Uh, okay, I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Free cam. Look at that. field. Alright, the port. Alright. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's probably because I'm in free cam and it hasn't loaded anything over here very well. Maybe I'm just at yeah, it's an altitude issue. That'll probably get fixed. Battery fuel pump. Where? Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm rolling. Mixture. Sitting at auto rich. I'm actually gonna, once it lets me, I'm gonna pull that back slightly. Of toe brakes, it does. Although I don't think I've ever really had to use them. Can I roll? Can I roll? There we go. Just gonna turn. P40's handling while it's taxiing because its tail wheel is controlled. About to pass 26k RPM and that's going to put me into combat mode. I'm actually going to back off on that slightly so I can be a little more careful. And up. Alright, it doesn't feel bad yet. Oops. Just back off on the throttle. Back off on my RPM. There we go. Landing gear is up. Flaps up. Oh wow. Alright, I can live with that. Oh god, that's so far away. 
I need to level out and deal with that, so I need to climb first. The P-40's engine, as far as I know, has been unchanged. So it's probably still fragile and probably really likes to break. Should have turned off the crosswind. Oh well. So, hold on, I'm going to go look at the boats in the P-40. It'll also give me some time to get up to speed, and I'll be able to test. This thing is supposed to be very maneuverable, and it feels very maneuverable. Like, I feel like I could do a lot with this thing. There's a boat. Two boats. Inching up my propeller RPM. Alright, I can actually sit like that, so. 170% RPM and 80% uh, throttle. That's nice. Oh, is it shooting at me? Oh, it is. I see gun. Gun. I see guns. Is there, There's flak. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, wow. Mm. Alright, um. Oh, boy. That's, that's nice. Alright, I'm going to make a run on it. Pitch over. Oh god, there's tracers. Woo! Oh god! Alright, I'm gonna actually fly away from that. Because, oh god, it's shooting at me. I don't have anything to deal with it. Alright, I'm gonna make a run on it. I don't care. The P-40 feels way better than it used to. <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> God dang it. There's two more boats up this way, which I'm assuming is probably... No, it's two more, I think, U-boats. How long this thing will run in combat mode? If they've fixed it. Should check the, the, uh, tab. Specifications tab. U-boats. Oh, there's tracers. Next thing I have to try is the duck, and I have to set up some tanks for that, because I don't think there are any on this map, uh, yet. Yeah, there's none. God, the P-40 actually handles well now, so that's nice. Hold on, I have to test it. Can I... I can finally kick my rudder! <laughs> Whee! 
That's so good. It used to like flatten out and start to just wobble around and then it would eventually just throw you and you'd go into an unrecoverable spin, but now the thing actually feels like it behaves. I might actually like the plane now. Isn't that an amazing thought? Also 650 cals, you can never go wrong with that. God, this plane. I can actually run it in combat mode now. I don't know what, if they changed that or, like, what is happening? Why can I run it in combat mode now? Pew pew! Look at all those 50 cals. <laughs> I'm out of ammo and, uh, I think the outer ones. Oh no, I have the... and it's out. Well, that's exciting. Now to test the duck. This is what I'm most excited for. I'll load it up where you can see like the arm and change and stuff. Plane set up. <laughs> ah! It's a duck! I love this plane. I didn't set any tanks, did I? Oh well. Get all those skins. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, there's Romanian. Romanian duck. I will fly a Romanian duck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, what is that? fixed loop radio navigational compass don't mind if I do uh, mark 101 or a MK it's not a mark it's a machine cannon mark 101 not mark Shut up. Uh, 80 rounds Let's, I'm gonna take the 103 or I could make it into this I just go as I strafe things I can take the 20 millimeter There's a, I'll take Take AP, see if I can do anything to the ships. I can put a mirror on it, although I probably won't ever need it. I have two SC-50s, which won't do anything, but they exist. I'm going to try taking out a heavily loaded duck. Duck. I could skip bomb. <laughs> I'm going to try skip bombing with the duck. Oh my god, it's a duck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a duck. Oh my god. <laughs> this cockpit is so small. <laughs> There's the engine gauges on the engine. <laughs> oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, oh, can I open that in flight? Oh, I hope I can. I would be able to see. I could actually, f like, turn this thing into a fighter if I can. Alright, let's turn on my engines. I'm gonna read over the specifications tab. While the engines start up, I need to cut my throttle. 
Alright, specification. Let's check my engine modes. Uh, okay, nominal is 1.1 ATA at 2350 RPM. Combat is at 2750, 1.25. Alright. This is exciting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's my excited noise. Yay, Gnome Road. Radial engine. It's a French engine. So this level bombing thing is going to be exciting to use. It seems simpler than the IL-2s. out you can like lean it's tiny the cockpit is it's so small but here hold on I'll give viewers at home watch the cockpit close watch this look at how small that is all right I'm gonna try taking off with the cockpit open just for the sake of having the cockpit open so I can see Ammo counter. Oh, I have ammo counters. Nice. So I have like a full loadout, including a. Th okay, that's my four center. Okay, when are these things gonna actually like go? And does it have radiators? Nope. All right. Awesome. Nothing to worry about on this plane. It seems simple. Oh. I love it. I love it already. Dude, I can't wait to take this thing out in multiplayer. Alright, I'm probably gonna need flaps. That's a pretty large hill I'm gonna have to clear. This underpowered thing. I wonder if it has a locking. No, I don't think it does. Alright, here we go. Maybe I'll try taking off with the cockpit closed, because I have a feeling I'm going to need every little bit of speed I can get. Oh, it's heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I did, I, I messed up. I messed up. Nothing got damaged. Alright. Alright, so that taught me a lesson. That this thing taxis like the JU-88. Alright, why is it not turning? God, it has the 110 problem. And it won't turn to the right. Okay. the thing turn carefully no no go straight God, this thing. Uh, please. Stupid French engines. Stupid French engines. Alright. 
I'm gonna just restart. Maybe that'll make my life easier. I dissed the French because the French didn't build good engines. <laughs> this plane was designed for much more powerful engines, not whatever these things are. Gnome roads, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of the t of the uh, 50 kilogram bombs. somewhere. I don't know why you would take a plane this high in this game. You never really need to. Whoa! Alright, the ground uh, caught my camera. I have to keep... There we go. It happened. One of my engines is running. Duck. Right, second engine. Why is the mixture so low? Maybe there's a reason. Oh god, there's a pen. Don't hit the pen. Come on. Off the ground. Please. Please. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Stupidly weak engines on a stupidly heavy aircraft. Oh my god. It's just back off on the throttle. I'm surprised it's not in takeoff mode. Oh, that's how you get the boost. Okay. Dear god. Alright. It's also a crosswind, so it's drifting. Just that there. This 
cockpit is claustrophobic. So that's the bomb site. That's the ground. How fast are we going? We've just broken 200 kilometers an hour. Full power. Maybe these engines will work better in reverse when I'm running away. Come on. <laughs> Why do these engines have no power? <laughs> it's dive angles. Level, come on. For the love of God. Okay, I'm actually gaining speed now. I'm up to an appreciable speed, so I'm gonna drop out of combat. Drop out of combat power. Drop. I don't know why that. Okay, where's the line? Where's the line at? Does RPM just take forever to change? Do I have to run it? At Extremely low throttle. Oh my god, I'm losing speed. What the hell am I supposed to do with this plane? This plane's so slow. <laughs> Alright, so supposedly in this area... Actually, I'm flying towards it. There should be artillery. Yeah, right there. Bank. We have them in our sights. German power. Oh, wow. <laughs> it sounds like an RC plane. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look at the. Okay, what? So, pulling my throttle fires my 30 millimeters and my 7.7, .7, or pulling my trigger fires my 7.7s and 30, and pulling, or er, uh, pushing my secondary fire button fires only my 20s. What? Sort of backwards thinking is that? It works. God, the plane is so slow, though. I just wrote an ML20 howitzer. Alright, let's see how it handles with an open canopy. In the air. I suppose that seat doesn't drop back. But I can still see very well behind me. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the mirror. Got it. It sounds like an RC plane. Center of the view. Whoa! Okay, it can't pull very hard. That's nice to know.
Uh, Alright, after this, I'm going to combat test the P40. Continuous mode is there. It's like forty percent. I can't run the plane on forty percent, the thing will drop out of the sky. And that's why its mixture was so low. Am I gaining any power from that? No, I'm actually losing. Full power! Ooh. I just began to stall there. Look at all those guns, though. My 30 millimeters out of ammo. Alright, that's exciting. Don't like the Duckham that much. Gonna do combat. Gonna do a combat. In the P40 versus E7. So I'm gonna load it out the same way I did before. Cause that's the loadout I liked when it wasn't good. I'm gonna make this fair. Also, give the enemy less fuel. They'll get that, because that looks cool. I need to give myself a little bit less fuel. That's what I would take off with. Um, give me Pakrish, give... Give me that. Alright, he's all loaded out. What's my convergence going to be? There's 450. I'll fly with 400. Both at uh, 1.5. We'll start at 1.5. I have no clue how tall the mountains are in that area. So I hope they aren't tall. I slam into the ground. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <sighs> hmm. Okay. How exciting. Can't wait for 72 AG to be updated. <laughs> Can take the duck out. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna record this for reasons. Gonna come on, engine, catch up. Catch up with me. Yeah. Alright, he didn't maneuver, at least I don't think he did. Wow! Alright, this thing can actually maneuver now. Holy crap! That's... Wow, that's really nice. Doesn't handle amazingly, but it's probably because I'm just not being I'm not getting enough power out of the engine right now. Yeah, it likes to snap like that. Which is annoying. How open are my radio? Yeah, that might be part of it. 
radiators are like super super open. And I can't hit because he's just maneuvering in a circle. Devs fix, please. Oh wow, I hit him. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Wow. 650 cals do a lot. I don't understand what they ch I'm talking to someone right now about the duck and the P40, and I'm 90% sure they've changed the engine. Like, the P40 would have just burst into flames by this point. Combat, 5 minutes, nominal, 2. I, that's not different, is it? Is it? <laughs> Well, combat power is five minutes. Five minutes is a decent amount of time. But I swear that's... I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. It handles better now, so... It doesn't want to kill you with every maneuver that you make. P40 might actually be something nice to fly now. Oh, what the heck? Maybe they've added something that like only happens over ridgelines. I don't understand. Yeah, right there. Did I clip something, or am I getting, like, buffeted? God, that's pretty. Woo, that's low. Like, really low to the ground, it starts to, like, kick your rudder back and forth. That's different. Low scorpion blood. Sun filter. Uh, yes. Came out today. Uh, it came out, like, an hour ago, actually. <laughs> P40 has been uh, aerodynamically fixed, so watch, I can kick my rudder around all I want and it doesn't want to fall out of the sky like it used to. Uh, it's actually decently maneuverable now, like I just outmaneuver to 197. That's nice. Um, engine still isn't fixed, but I have a feeling it won't be for a while. And uh, what else is there? I need to... That's really weird. Uh, there's a... The duck was put in. There's a... FM overhaul, like, overall for each aircraft. The way that tail planes work now. So, like, the rudder, elevator, all that. Has been changed. Uh, all of the patch notes are up online already. You go see how well I can land this thing. Okay, I've been running in combat mode for what I would guess is over 10 minutes. Or not 10 minutes, over 5 minutes. I'll time it. 
go back in and watch the replay, but I am 90% sure it's been over 5 minutes. Okay, where's the nearest airfield? Over here. Uh, my settings, I don't think they're the highest they can be. I might be wrong. I'll check, because I'm just sort of flying straight line right now back towards the airfield. I can't check because I'm in game, which is something that still annoys me. But, um... If I remember correctly, my the only thing that isn't on like high or ultra is uh, anti-aliasing, which I could probably. Oh no, the shadows; those are new. I actually haven't. I don't think I've either. They're at max right now. Hold on, where's the sun? You should be able to see your own shadow now, theoretically. Thought you could. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, it is a lot of trees down there, so drop my throttle start dropping flaps coming in to land uh, the shadows are different I think they're using a different engine for the shadows now I might be wrong but yeah the shadows are changed and improved I like the manual gun sight Uh, FPS, I actually don't have my counter on. I normally, if nothing much is happening and I'm just flying around, I'll sit it above 60, but I tend to keep it capped at 60. Come on, landing gear. Um, there we go. And, uh, I am very fast. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh... The, 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 what was I saying? FPS, yeah. Uh, in a busy scenario, I'll drop, like, lowest I'll really get to is 60. I don't normally drop below that. Uh, yeah, oh well. I tend to ground loop on landing any plane. I think it's just because the way I do it. There's also a crosswind. But, um, yeah. Whoops. I need to check my shadow settings. I'm going to have to check how long I was in combat mode for. Because that felt a lot longer than five minutes. Engine. And okay. Finish that. There also seems to be Yeah, Flids it's Kuban is I think the best thing I can compare it to is the uh foothills of the Rockies. Although the mountain I think the mountains in Kuban are way lower. That's the closest thing I compare it to. I can compare it to. I don't know about in Europe though. In Europe, the closest thing to Kuban is Kuban. Heard it or um, what else can I go look at? I haven't looked up here yet. Well, what can I take out? Um, uh, I don't know. I like the map. Map is very, very well made. It is a fantastic map. I'm gonna take off from the ocean. Part of me feels like these were supposed to be, at least like two of these were supposed to be dual areas, so that might be an issue, but that's not an issue when it comes to multiplayer. I will take off from there. Um, I 
I'm gonna take a quick look. Quick look at the notes and see what aircraft had the had substantial changes to it. Um, there's the P40, which I've just covered. Uh, Stuka has new skins. Stuka has an Italian skin now, which I really like. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I want to go look at my settings. That's what I want to do. Uh, Garfix. Yeah, that's everything. Shadow quality is medium. Let's turn that up to ultra. Or high. Because I don't feel like killing my... My anti thing is up to full. Yeah, forgot about that. I don't know. I don't remember settings. Uh, okay. Shadow quality is high. Alright. Except, uh, I'm gonna have to restart my game. Uh, give me a moment. Alright. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright. Accept and restart. to look at the notes real quick while the game is launching again. Alright. Um, shadows. Hundred and twenty thousand square kilometers. That doesn't no, that's right. Um Is that right? That doesn't seem right. No, that's right. I I just can't do math. That's how big the map is. Stuck in my head now. Alright, game is back. I don't know why it was stuck in the loading screen. Okay. Not multiplayer. This isn't multiplayer yet. You could go out in Kuban Spring. Uh, Stuka. Italian Stuka skin, which is nice. Tank killer. These are all very nice. Uh, there's the one nine, no, the 109F4 got new skins, but I don't really fly that thing that often, so. For me personally, that means I'll have new targets to shoot at. Um, MiG-3 had a few changes to it. Alright, uh, did it, did it. Theoretically, it shouldn't be. Ooh. 
Theoretically, it shouldn't be as stupid to taxi now, because I've never liked taxiing the thing. has vanished. Uh. Uh. Interesting. This is different. Maybe the game crashed. But my mouse has vanished. I don't know where it went. There's the mouse. I'm gonna grab the loadout that I use, which is 250 cals, because you don't really need more than that on the MIG. I like the MIG, but I can't take the thing off. Life of me. Alright, uh, recenter the view. Sure, come on. RPM up. Let's sit at mixture. doesn't need to be open that much, and the oil radiators I tend to sit at about 50. Okay, this thing feels like it'll actually take off now. Although it is still a little twitchy on the ground. It never was the best taxiing thing in the world. In my opinion, the best plane to taxi is the P-40 because of that uh, tail wheel. Okay, I can actually take off now. Awesome. Yeah, it said the rudder effect has been significantly like increased at low speed and high speed, I think. I think that was what the change was. I don't have the notes up anymore. Where is the sun? There is the sun. I should be able to see my plane's shadow if I can... Ooh, that's a risky roll. Maybe it'll be easier looking this way. Maybe I just won't look. How about that? That's a good idea. I won't look until I'm actually like up in the air. Yeah, there's the plane shadow. Alright, let's not do that again, because that was a little risky, especially at low speed. MIG. I'm excited to actually be able to fly this thing now, so... My Battle of Moscow lineup has significantly increased from the I-16 
in the IL-2 1942 to pretty much all of them. I fly almost entirely Russian. Over on that shoreline, there should be some artillery, so I'm going to go buzz them. No. Yep, there's the artillery. Rocket artillery. Rocket artillery. My god, that crosswind. <laughs> Don't have a good angle. Whee! 550 kilometers an hour just in that little bit of area. Russian planes are odd. Each one is pretty darn unique, whereas the 109s all have pretty similar. Uh, handling styles. They're odd, but I like them. God, that crosswind is killing me. This also is a very light aircraft, I think. MIG's light, yeah, yeah. The engine's the heaviest part of it. I think it handles so much better now. I'm so glad stepping on the rudder doesn't cause a roll anymore. Because as much as I liked it for defensive flying, it made aiming really difficult. Well, those are armored. <laughs> Yong. Inverted. Meg is actually pretty nice now. Everything is nice now. It's new, it's fresh again. So I might skip over to 72 AG and take out the P 40 up against the nice lines of tanks that it has. If I could aim, I wonder if I can get hit by rocket artillery. That's a new challenge. Wee! All right, all right. I'm gonna try and get hit by rocket artillery. Have a new goal in life. See ya. Please fire. Watch them fire while I'm flying away. I wonder if they're empty. Because I'm pretty sure the artillery pieces will run out. Okay, well that was a nice stream, so, uh, I think I'm gonna land it. I'll land wherever the nearest airfield is. Fuck, where is the nearest airfield? I would assume it's this one. God, it's like War Thunder all over again. Except, this map is actually sized correctly. Oh man, it's Cole. Thank you. Doing a first impressions of the Kuban map and flight model changes. And it's probably about to end, but I might stream my P40 antics, testing out the combat mode and stuff. 
ready to watch me fail at landing. So I think this is the airfield that the Russians took off from in War Thunder. so familiar. Why am I good at landing now? What what changed? Why can I do this like so easily? Like what? Oh, boats. Boats, 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 boats. Boat. Boat. Looks like, I don't know, a fuel transport. There's no people on them. There's no people on them. Spooky. Spooky boat. Interesting. There's no people on this one either. Is that a torpedo boat? Neat. Alright. I think, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna end the stream there. And, uh, cause I have to go to class and an hour and a half. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. So, thank you to everyone who watched. I highly recommend going and grabbing the new patch because it's great. I love the P40 now, which is weird. And yeah, so, thank you. It's in the air, it's in the atmosphere I can hear, but I can't tell what it's telling me Too many sides to a story All these colors and shapes I'm afraid if I love it, you won't agree
stuff to it. I 